Hello everyone, it's Adatio for Master and welcome to a new The Sims 4 Speed build. So as many of you probably know, The Sims 4 spooky stuff was released last week and therefore I thought, you know, what's better than building a spooky house now we have spooky items or at least today I'm actually building a haunted house, you know, which is basically a spooky house, but I decided to call it a haunted house, um, but yeah. This is located in Newcris because we don't really have like a spooky world but um, I think Newcris is just fine for this. I'm happy that we don't have a spooky world because I would really find it like a loss of effort if they put effort into making a spooky world because except for this time I would actually never use it. I would really um, rather prefer just a regular realistic world because I would actually use that a lot. But um, yeah, as I said, a haunted house and I've used quite some of the items which come with spooky stuff, but not very many actually. You can definitely download the, uh, this house if you don't have spooky stuff and it will mainly look the same. It's just that the garden will look a little bit different and mainly the interior will look much different, well, much different, kind of different. Uh, because that's where quite some of the items which came with this uh, stuff pack came from. And furthermore, there are like some pumpkins in the uh, garden, which I used, which you won't have if you don't have the Sims for spooky stuff. But if you want the, uh, the Sims for spooky stuff, but you don't have it yet, you can actually answer my giveaway because I currently have a giveaway going on on my channel. I'll link a, um, yeah, I'll put a link to that giveaway in the, um, yeah, in the description because entering is very easy. You just have to leave a comment. And uh, you can leave up to 10 comments and then you've participated by also liking and subscribing to the channel and liking the video. And uh, you can even help me out by uh, giving me a suggestion for a new series which I could start and then the chance of winning is even bigger. But uh, just, just check out that uh, video for like the overall rules of the uh, giveaway. But if you want the Sims for Spooky stuff you can enter that. Keep in mind that it will end on uh, October the 7th. So if you're watching this video or that video after October the 7th you will not be able to uh, enter anymore. But um, yeah, if you're watching that after that unfortunately you're too late. But you can uh, also of course uh, obviously just buy uh, the Sims for Spooky stuff. But um, yeah, I think this haunted house really turned out to look cool because in like my old simming career for as far as we can call it uh, like that i've never built a spooky house not in the sims 3 but also not in the sims 4 so therefore i was kind of curious what it would look like to build a haunted house and this new stuff pack really felt like the right thing uh, to actually start building a, a haunted house or just felt like the right reason actually because personally i never really liked this style uh, just because I much more prefer like modern realistic houses though I think in the end this one really turned out to look cool and I really like the look of it So um, yeah, I'm honestly quite proud over it You will be able to download this house from the gallery Search for origin ID Dutch Sims Master and then you will be able to uh, put it into your game And then you can like make it bigger or just use it exactly this way And in that way your uh, like pumpkin, pumpkin headed uh, sims will also be able to enjoy like a nice living um, But yeah, as I said Dutch Sims Master is the origin ID You can also follow that I think Currently I have like 5,000 followers or something But if you follow me there you'll get an update every time I upload a new video Or not a new video, every time I upload a new house on origin or on the gallery so therefore I think that would be pretty handy if you uh, enjoy the houses I create um, so it's very easy it's free of course just like subscribing to my youtube channel which you can of course also do and that button is in the uh, yeah, comment section or just right under this frame in which you're seeing the video but anyways um, now, if you are wondering what items do actually come with spooky stuff, check out the item showcase I did. I've uploaded, I think, a few days ago. And in that video, I simply show you all the cast items, all the uh, objects which come with these, uh, with this um, stuff pack. And also, I kind of give my overall uh, opinion, which I also just gave. There are quite some items with it, but not incredibly many. And the items which are coming with it are just mainly to be used with a haunted house like this one. Which I'm like building, main, I think once a year or something, not very often. But um, the items which come with it do look pretty cool and there are like some new uh, gameplay uh, features as well. Not very many, of course it's a stuff pack, but um, there are some I believe. Um, but yeah, this time not in around the world speed wheel by the way, but that's pretty obvious. 
you know, you have haunted houses everywhere, I think. But um, yeah, I'm really happy, I must say, with the way uh, the around the world speed builds are going. So therefore, uh, no worries, I will still be uploading those. And I think the next one will actually be an around the world speed build again. I still have to come up with a country. So if you have any suggestions, put it in the comments down below. I do have very many suggestions already, but maybe I see yours and I'm like, hmm, that's a good idea. But um, yeah, you know, I get so many requests sometimes that it's kind of hard that when I choose, I never feel like I made the right decision because there are so many requests for all kinds of different countries. I can never make everyone happy, but I hope in the end I will be able to, at the end of the entire series, to have been able to build everyone's request, but I think that is going to take a very long time. Um, but yeah, here we started with the wall paintings. There came quite some wall paintings with this new stuff pack, I believe. Yeah, I think I used one of the wall paintings which came with it uh, quite often uh, for the exterior and the interior. I used quite some of them as well. Um, but yeah, I think in the end it really turned out to look cool and detailed and this is quite a special house. It really something I've never built before and in that way I think I challenged myself a bit and I like that. Um, because that's also something I really noticed with you around the world speed, but it really challenges me and in that way I'm able to build like totally different houses than what I normally would build. And that really makes it much more fun uh, yeah, to create new houses and also really makes it much more challenging and therefore of course fun. Um, but I must say that I really want a new world for The Sims 4 because in that way I would be able to build like much better around the world speed builds and the kind of world I'm hoping to get is uh, just a beach world. So like um, kind of like Sunlit Tides from The Sims 3 that would be perfect and in that way I would be able to build like Mald Maldivian houses, Hawaiian houses and just regular modern uh yeah, modern houses, modern tropical houses is just my my favorite theme kind of when it comes to houses. So therefore, I'd love to be able to build that. So I hope the Sims 4 team is coming up with something like that, like most likely next year. I think they're not going to skip um, or not going to do something like that this year. Maybe they are in like December or something, but I think November we have the Sims 4 uh, get together coming. In October, we still need like a new thing. So maybe there's like a new world coming down, but I'm not too sure about that, you know, that's not confirmed, just me speculating. Um, but yeah, that would really make me happy because in that way I would really get more involved in everything as well. And I think that would just simply be really cool. Um, but yeah, oh, what did I want to say? Um, because you can, by the way, check out my Instagram account because... Um, because, okay, I kind of, I was looking at something on my screen uh, where I'm also recording the audio and stuff. But uh, you can, of course, follow me on Instagram and there you see uh, like pictures from me like in real life and just also updates on new houses I'm uploading. So you could have seen this house already before it was uploaded or at least not the video, but just a preview of the house. So, you know, you know, you can look forward to it, I guess. Um, and also, uh, as I said, I have the giveaway going on. You can check it out. But one of the things I tried to do with this giveaway as well is getting new ideas for uh, series. So not building series mainly, but also new gameplay series. If you have like a really cool idea for a gameplay series or maybe a combination would be even better. But also just building series, which I could do, that would be awesome. Because of course I have the around the world speed. Well, that's something no one has ever done. And that's really like something different, kind of challenging. And therefore, I guess... Um, people like it and therefore I also really like it. But I would like something new next to that Around the World Speed Build series. I'm not ending it. I just want, you know, I think if I add like one more series to my channel, which is going just as good as the Around the World Building series, my channel will just, it will go just much better. And I would like that. So therefore I thought, you know, adding a new series would maybe be cool. But I just have to come up with an idea. So maybe if you have like a genius idea, you'd really help me out. That would really be awesome. So if you have an idea, please let me know in the comments down below. And you can also enter my giveaway by, uh, by um, putting that uh, idea in the comment section of the giveaway video. But you know, all that sorts it out and you'll understand what I mean when you watch that video. So I'll put a link to that in the comments or in the description. And then you'll be able to win spooky stuff, which is pretty cool, I guess. And in that way, you'll be able to uh, yeah, get it for free, which is awesome, of course. And I'll just be messaging you if you've won uh, after like the 7th of October. Just some short information on that. So I will not make a separate video in it because I simply, one, I will not 
have time to make that separate video furthermore you know it always spreads kind of a negative feel and atmosphere around so therefore i just prefer to message someone on youtube like you've won and furthermore say nothing about it and if you've not received a message on like a few days after the 7th of october you can just feel like okay i've not won too bad you know that's basically it yeah, that's the way i also personally enter giveaways in that way um because otherwise yeah it's just much easier easier i guess and people will like it better um but yeah as i said this is what did i say actually no i started i started with as i said but i didn't really say anything which has to do with it um because we're currently building the back of the house which um yeah i didn't really know what to do with it but in the end yeah i kind of lost my cr creativity there for like a few seconds i guess and then I was like, you know, it's it's not that hard. I can just start doing this. And then it turned out to look pretty cool. And of course, yeah, it's very dark, but um, yeah, some of you might really like that. This personally, this really creates kind of a math feel to me, uh, like kind of scary, but that's really what this house is meant for. It is very like, uh, it's really an impressive house. I think it's just really different than other houses I've built. So therefore uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I think with very many, like it's very details, uh, well detailed as well with like verandas at the, at the front of the house and like stairs going up and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, in a few seconds out here, I am actually already starting like the fence around the, um, around the house, but I'm also going to start the garden and then, uh, the ex yeah, the exterior will be done and you'll be seeing the interior in like a few seconds, I guess. Um, but yeah, what is anything else I can talk about? Um, I, as I said, that new series, if you have an idea, let me know. I talked about that, uh, the, inst uh, the Instagram account. Um, let me see, what would you really like to see uh, being added to The Sims 4? Because as I said, I really want a beach tropical kind of world that would really make me happy uh, just as terrain tools. I really need those and actually create a style would be pretty cool to have added. But I must say it's less of a problem than I expected it to be. I must say I'm still able to kind of match the colors of houses like kind of fine. So I don't really need to create a style. Terrain tools are really things that if that would be added, I would literally like throw a party at my house. Everyone can come out. Okay, no. But uh, seriously, if the terrain tools in a tropical world are coming to The Sims 4, that would just make it so much better. So I, I hope something like that is coming up. But please let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see. Uh, so what kind of a stuff pack or expansion pack or maybe just like a totally new thing maybe you would like to see in, in a web store uh, just like we had with the sim free where you could like purchase separate chairs or separate toilets or just a a the sims 4 store like we had the sim free store as well um or uh which like a, like a totally new sort of pack so world packs because i really feel like that is coming like world packs will actually be a thing in my opinion at least that's what i expect um but yeah, that that's just something I'm wondering. What and in that way, you know, um, you know, this is for developers will most likely not watch this video. But maybe if they do, and if this video like really goes like nearly viral, maybe, um, then uh, they will like see this and they might be able to uh, yeah do something with it. So that would be cool. Um, by the way, if we can hit the, I think 600 likes on this video, that would be epic. You know, that's the goal for this video because with the last video, the Parisian townhouse, I had the goal of 1000 and we actually nearly reached that. And 1000 is a crazy number for my videos because I think if it hits the 1000, it's like immediately in the top 10 of most liked videos on my channel, simply because 1000 likes is quite much. So I think, you know, this is not a, an around the world speed build. So if we could hit 600 likes, that would be epic. And if you can go over it, like, over to like 1000 that would be even better but 600 is to start with i guess um but yeah recently my channel has been going pretty well i must say thank you for all the new subscribers because we have gotten quite some new subscribers so if you are new to my channel thank you very much um because one day we had like 275 subscribers in one day which is like by far a new record because the last time I had a, like the last record was on 230. And on that day, 
I was like shouted out by uh, the same supplier with a video on his channel back then he had like 40,000 subscribers but now he has like 230,000 subscribers but back then he was a little bit smaller um, but I did get quite some subscribers from that because you know we made a video together but um, now I from like out of nowhere I think because of the New York townhouse speed build I uh, gained like 275 uh, subscribers in a day and furthermore the other days were pretty good as well so we're really uh, like getting closer to like 60,000 uh, subscribers already well it feels like it was yesterday that I reached the 50,000 though it's not going that fast you know I think 60,000 will be reached in like one and a half month but um, 100,000 is like the ultimate goal I think if I've reached that there's an for similar for sims channels there's not much more to reach you know 200,000 is cool but like 100,000 is like very special you know you get like a golden play button from youtube then you um i believe that's mainly it but you know you know well i i really can't talk you know you know saying it twice but um yeah 100,000 is just such a milestone in youtube that would just be crazy so if we could reach that someday that would be awesome and in the rate it's going currently i'll be reaching that in like one year but i think it would be awesome if we would like be able to read it or reach it in like half a year or like three quarters of a year something like that that would be incredible so if you could share this video with anyone who likes the sims if you could subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed that would be awesome because in that way we get to like the ultimate goal because i think with this youtube thing i have two goals and that's mainly um 100 000 subscribers well of course make it you know when it comes to milestone goals so not like of course my main goal is to have fun and entertain people but when it comes to milestone goals kind of like visible goals kind of which, which you achieve uh, because otherwise it's like you only do it for th those things but that's definitely not true no worries but um it's 100,000 subscribers and going to ea to check out like a new game and then ea in san francisco where they have like their headquarters and then being able to check out like a new ep or a stuff pack most likely it will be in an ep if i would actually be invited but that would really be like the ultimate thing you know i love traveling and you know being able to also meet other simmers there would be epic and then also playing a new game and all those things together that would really be cool so if that would happen one day i would be incredibly happy but um for the way yeah it's really crazy but youtube has really changed my life actually in the way uh that uh you know I really spend much time on it but i just really enjoy spending this time and getting feedback from all of you seeing the comments is really what keeps me going i and i really can't imagine that you as a youtuber would actually turn off the comments because those are really the things which keep you going and you know otherwise you know you just upload a video but you don't get any feedback and feedback is just so important to make better videos so yeah therefore it's just Every time you upload, you're like curious what will happen this time. Will people like it? Will people don't like it? What would they like to see next? All those kind of things. That's really what makes it fun. But um, yeah, we're pretty close to the end of the video. As I said, here we have the interior. Did I say it? I'm not sure. But we have a two bedroom, um, two bathroom or one small, one big bathroom in this house. And therefore, and also a study which you could actually transform into a better bathroom. So then it would be a little bit big, uh, bigger but uh anyways we're very close to the end of this video i think it was my english wasn't really good this video but i hope you uh, still kind of understood what i said but anyways thanks for watching this video don't forget to uh hit that 100 like or 600 likes actually uh and yeah thanks for watching this video and i hope to see you back later